Hello Virgo, welcome to your offering. This is a timeless reading regardless where it sits in your chart. Allow yourself to receive, allow your intuition and your discernment to serve as the other half of this reading so that you may take what must be taken and leave what must be left. My name is Andrew, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, beings of love and light, loving light. We call upon you at this time to channel messages for the sign of Virgo. Allow their guides, angels, and ancestors to dictate the messages as they are the ones walking with them and they deserve to be heard. Thank you, Archangel Mikael. Please protect against any distorting energies and or intentions. Escort them to a place of evolution or dissolution now or whenever they may interfere. Cover us so that I may be a divine channel, so that I may serve within my service. Thank you. Without any interference. Thank you. Archangel Jovial and Archangel Raphael sit within my heart. Allow my service to be anchored within the Christ conscious impulses. Thank you. And the Christ conscious impulse and the Christ conscious stream and the harmonization of love in the heart. We are open to receive and we are very thankful for this opportunity to connect. Thank you. The spoils of success, Virgo. The spoils of success. You have reached a level of success, whether you acknowledge it or not. And the spoils is a very particular and unique and, and specifically chosen word in this channeling. Why? Because success comes with its own challenges and responsibilities. Virgo is a little bit of a control freak, okay? You guys are known to have your OCD. You guys are, are, are known to be a little bit obsessive. And so what happens when you walk through that portal of success in that door and what you see is not what you expect? What happens if it's, it's, it's causing you to really be present with these relationships? Listen, Virgo does not want to let go of a friend if they don't have to. Virgo does not want to let go of relationships if they don't have to. Virgo does not want to burn a bridge if they do not have to. What happens if this success is demanding that you do so? What happens if this new world is requiring you to show up with that much more responsibility in receiving it? Yes, the enjoyment and the celebration of it is here, but in the balance of that, on the other side of that scale is your uh, protection of it. How strong is your firewall? Because it feels like Virgo wants to include the inincludable. Virgo wants to uh, force uh, and sometimes when you walk through that 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 portal, everybody starts to transform, okay? Who you thought was your knight in shining armor becomes the witch that holds you in the tower. The person who you thought was going to be your greatest champion becomes your greatest hater. And what do you do with that? I just felt a wave of anxiety. You don't need to feel anxiety, Virgo. All of it is a, you are the most intuitive sign, one of the most intuitive signs. There is no need for you to fret. You are more than prepared for this shift and change. And yes, it will come with its own difficulties and hardships, but what doesn't? Wanting to be a hero. Wanting to be the answer to other people's problems when you can't. This, th these low vibrational ways in which your shadow and your light come together in your period of time and not realizing that this has also been holding you back. So if the ways in which your shadow and light have come together in the past are what is of the past. So your desire to want to lift others up Granted, wonderful, heart-based desire, but this desire is not coming from a place that, um, this desire is coming from an immature place. This drive to want to serve, right? It's, it's a genuine drive, but the way that you're going about it and those that you see as, your, as those for you to serve are not those that are meant for you to serve. You serve them by leaving them be. And so where is it that you win this lottery, that you get this winning ticket, that you get all of these blessings and you want to spread it around and sprinkle it on other people and make them like you want to bring everybody into this world with you. But not everybody has the biological 
structure to be able to survive and live on this world. So are you doing them any favors by bringing them to a planet that their body cannot metabolize the oxygen, that their body cannot absorb the nutrients, and thus they cannot, they, they only feel like a ghost in this place. And so thus they, they drag, right? They buck. They, it becomes a war of worlds, the war of the worlds, who will live where, right? Can I drag Virgo back into my world so I can enjoy them still? What else do we have, Spirit? Thank you. And these are not even things that you, that are needed to be thought about, Virgo. These are not even things that need to be considered at this point. These are not even things that, that, that need to be crossing your mind, but the fact that they are is evidence that you're experiencing and stepping into a new realm of reality where you've reached a level of success. And I'm hearing it's not all physical. A lot of it is peace. A lot of it is balance within your own experience. Libra season invited some balance into Virgo and Virgo received it and is running with it. But what happens when this newfound way, this newfound formula of living that helps you or allows you to feel elevated because you are elevated and what happens when you now are looking around at your life circumstances and everything is looking different? Some things that were once ripe are now spoiled. Relationships that served you that were once ripe and juicy and plump are now spoiled. Old dreams that you once had and ambitions were once ripe and juicy and are now spoiled. It's a difficult transition or it's a difficult awareness to sit with, but it is one that will serve you nonetheless. The Seven of Wands in the reverse. Ooh, okay. It's like being, it's like a, a kind of being resistant to this awareness. But the Emperor in the upright position is, is telling me that there is the Aries energy and the Aries full moon is holding the full moon. And there's something about the full moon on the 29th that was really heightened in all of this awareness the queen of wands and the nine of wands in the reverse I'm hearing something about once the storm passes and you're able to assess the damage are you going to rebuild in this place that is is no longer a place you desire? Or are you going to allow your authority and your divine guidance and your spiritual intuitive knowing to guide you into the new world, to guide you into the new? And there are a lot of old stories about what it means to be a good person, what it means to be a light worker, what it means to be all of these things that are now being put into question. Is being a light worker making myself available to any and everyone who needs my service? Is being a light worker meaning that I that my job here is to bring light to all places and spaces and things? Or is there more of a selective thing? Am I learning the art of war, the spoils of success and the spoils of war? This war is not all low vibrational. Oftentimes we don't have a choice. Oftentimes we're in a war, spiritual war, a war, a battle. Right? There's a reason that these things exist, and although they have been things that have been taken advantage of by world leaders and by different aspects of reality in our world at this time, it does not change the fact that war is a fundamental aspect of life. Ooh, that's deep and heavy. But you're not on the battlefield right now, Virgo. Right now, you are eyes in the sky. You are fully intuitive. You are fully tuned in, plugged in, and turned on. And because of that, you are seeing this new world with a brand new definition. Your eyesight and your ability to see is that of a eagle or a hawk. You can see from miles away. And so thus, you sit upon your throne realizing that the battle or the war energetically that you've been a part of 
that you didn't know you were a part of and this was a battle or war for you? Where is it that you compromised yourself, compromised your truth, compromised your success in order to feel a sense of worthiness, need, being, needing to be needed? One of the greatest shadow aspects that Virgo has. The ability to be needed but what happens when you're bet when you're best served in your cave in your hermit cave what happens when you're best served in your own energy bringing your own illumination to your life and to the world as you know it what happens if you're being invited into solitude not because you're meant to stay there but because in this place of transition you are relearning what the world means to you and who you are in it the Aries full moon offered its portal to you. And are you willing to self-reflect in the illumination that you have the gift to ground into the collective? You are the ones who, who shine that inner light into the darkest places of yourself and others. And when you can see that light in others and you can see the uni unique spark of the divine in others in the past in your immaturity, you allowed all of your resources to be spent on whatever comes your way. It's the difference between allowing individuals to step to you and say, hey, I need help. Can I have a dollar? Right. And every person that comes up to you, you refuse to deny them. And then you have nothing rather than taking all of that money and applying it in a way that is more calculated, that is more strategic and surgical. What else do we have for Virgo? Thank you, spirit. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay to keep it to yourself. It's okay to hold it in. I'm not talking about bottling it up. Express. However, it's more than okay. It quite it's invited, in fact. For you to sit on what you got right now. Sit on what you got, Virgo. Don't do nothing with it. There's birthday plans I'm hearing and plans and holiday plans and trips and things and things that Virgo loves to do to plan ahead in order to feel like you're looking towards or looking forward to something. But don't stress about those things. Don't stress about, oh, well, I got a trip with this person and I got these plans with this person and I got a work meeting and a work retreat with this person and, and I can't... Um, I can't honor this awareness right now because I'm going to be in a space with these people and the divine is saying, forget about everything that's coming up. Forget about what you, you feel you need to do in order to, to meet that future requirement. Do not allow yourself to be a slave to an event in the future when you have some, something so much bigger. The whole world is opening up to you, Virgo. The whole world is opened up to you in this full moon. The spoils of success, right? Things that, that once were okay and served you in your life, that when you go into success, they become uh, spoiled. And so are you willing to go through your refrigerator and throw the shit out that don't smell right, okay? That got a funny color to it, that it's growing a fucking mold on it. Are you willing to throw it out? Any other messages for Virgo, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Judgment in the Moon card. You, you won't really know, okay? So so even though you're feeling this newness, you don't necessarily know where it's going and that drives you crazy, Virgo, because you like to have a plan. You like to have a plan. You like to know what you're doing and why, right? What happens when the moment comes and you call this in not knowing what is around the bend, what's around the corner, where it's bringing you? I'm Virgo Moon. I received this message. God bless Virgo. I leave you in the divine light of the divine creator. If you'd like to book a session with me, either a, a private session, a one-on-one -on -one session, or a video reading, that information is in the description box of this video. You can also email me at andrewsintuition.com. I leave you in the divine light of the divine creator. And until next time. <laughs>